Welcome to episode 20 of action RPG game in Unity. Equipping items. Okay, we have implemented item slots. We can equip items. What we want to do is now is to make items have an actual effect on your character. Open the item script. And let's introduce stats for the items. Now you have an ability to introduce stats into your item. Let's say your bow is mighty weapon and ring is one which gives you more health. So when we equip the item, we want to add the stats from the item to the player stats. In the equipment item slot script, we want to apply stats of equipped item to the player. To do this, we want to cache the reference to the inventory of that character. So the inventory will be communicating the changes of character equipment and communicating what stats should be added to the player because he equips certain kind of item. To cache it, we need to create a new method called init, which will accept inventory of the character who wears this item as a reference as a parameter, and call this new method from the player inventory on each equipment slot for the character. So create serialized list for equipment slot and populate it in the editor. Then on the start, cycle through all of them. And pass the inventory into the init. Now slot know what inventory they are attached to. Good. When equip an item, you want to add the stats of the item to the player stats, so create a new method in the inventory to apply changes to the stats of the character. Pass list of the stats value as a parameter. This method will be adding the stats of the equipped item into the character stats to reflect the, the change caused by equipping a new item. To apply the changes, we need to catch the player character. Then call and create a new method called addStats on the character. Inside the newly created method, we want to cycle through all the past stats and add them to the player stats. We are passing list in previous method and working with it right now, because items can have multiple modifications to your stats, and those values will be stored in the list. Call a new method called add on the stats group. Actually, let's rename it into sum. Inside we want to get the stats from the list. 
based on the type of the stat. Then we check if the value is float or integer and apply the change. Float value will be added to the float value and integer value will be added to the integer value. Good. Now when you place an item into the slot, you have to add stats of the item to the character through the inventory. Good. Let's test this. Make sure your bow have damage and try to equip it. You will see how damage will increase if you equip the bow. Good. Please consider supporting me on Patreon, you will get cool perks like being featured like those cool people you can see right now on your screen, or access to project files on Patreon. Good, now let's introduce a pair of helmets, an iron helmet and leather helmet. Ok, with their data in the game we want a convenient way to test items. And to do that we want to introduce a way to feed items into the inventory at the start. Make list of items called item on start inside the inventory script. Then in the start cycle through the list and add them into the inventory. Let's add two helmets we introduced into the list. Each item added into this list will appear in your inventory. Now if we launch this game you will see two helmets, you add it into the list.
But if I try to equip them, they will be adding their stats. But defense keep climbing up. This is because uh, we are not subtracting previously equipped item stats from the character stats. So in the equipment slot, when you replace an item, we want to subtract old item stats. So call and create subtract stats from the inventory. Inside the inventory, call and create subtract stats from the character. Then in the character, we want to cycle through all the stats we passed and subtract them from the character stats. It will be done the similar way how we add the stats. So we create a method for adding individual stats value. Then we create another new method inside the stats group which will be responsible for subtracting the value based on the type. So if it's float, then we subtract a float value, and if it's integer, then we subtract integer value. Let's test this. Error. Oh, it's because we are trying to subtract stats of empty slot from the character stats. So let's make an exception. If the slot is empty, we don't need to sub subtract anything. Good. As you can see, if I equip item, it adds its stats to the character stats. And if I re-equip item with something else, it changes stats. Good, this is it for this episode. Special thank you to the Soul Hashdo and Stormbreaker9000 for this generous support. With best regards, see you in the next episode.